much money is getting into our building. Uh, we're collaborating uh, with us, uh, Tim Scott and Zach Rickman from our manufacturing floor. We're here today to share our assembly kitting Kaizen, a classic Kaizen. And I just want to give you a shameless plug for our big lights. Please buy one back. <laughs> Decanting, he has to go back to say to the material part to put his box away. 
288 steps from the Gerald return. And he's going to do 264 steps to the vault rack when we do our vault rack here at the end. There was also an imbalance between the two guys when they were both going to the So, we then had uh, our improvement action. First thing we did was uh, we had an adjustable desk so that Tim didn't have to sit and stand. He just raised the desk. We moved Tim's picture desk closer so that he didn't have to walk. And we had a uh, return part so Tim didn't have to continue to go back to the material storage racks. We then uh, also moved the vault back <coughs> so that you wouldn't have to walk around the back side and we centered the tape cage. So here we are moving the pressure desk, here's the return part, we moved the vault rack and we rotated it. And this is our spaghetti diagram after the fact. So compared to the before and the after, and this was the result. Guys, you can move on to the vault parts, please. The vault parts. Exactly okay? So the label, the label prints, you can see we've eliminated the 26 six stands that were required in the course of the kit. We've reduced the label printing from 212 steps down to 50, so Tim is obviously not half as tired as that. The material return was reduced from 288 steps down to uh, 24. The vault parts from 264 steps down to 176. We also moved the kick cage in the middle to eliminate that imbalance and one guy wasn't uh, doing more work than the other. So a couple of additional benefits. We were actually previously uh, retaping boxes before they went back to the material storage rack, uh, which we eliminated. We eliminated a non-value added inspection step after the kit was completed before we rolled out on the manufacturing floor. Our data showed that we didn't need that. Uh, so we freed up space by removing one table and two racks, and it, as you can see, energized our team. So this is a quick box plot of the before versus after. We had a statistically significant reduction in our kidding time by 33 minutes and 26% improvement. Before it took us 125 minutes, and after it's going to take us 92 minutes. And we've had zero kidding downtime at assembly afterwards.